unfortunately, we have a little bit more rain in the forecast for tonight, but things are looking much better as we head into the rest of the weekend. Let's take you now to uh, what happened today. The official high temperature, Joe, it was chilly out there today. A high temperature of 66 degrees. That is well below average for this time of year. The average high is 83. The good news is as we head into the remainder of the weekend, I can promise you things are going to be warming up. Uh, we're not going to quite get to our average, but we'll get closer. So that is uh, going to be feeling much better out there. 61 degrees right now in Philadelphia down the shore. Temperatures are checking in in the low and mid 60s. It's 64 degrees in Wildwood, 61 degrees in Atlantic City. We have lower 60s in Allentown and Trenton. Mount Pocono actually tied a low, a record low temperature for this morning of around 36 degrees. I mean, that is just not right for this time of year. 54 degrees uh, right now, though, in Mount Pocono. Storm scan three shows that we have plenty of rain still across the tri state area, all associated with what once at once upon a time was Harvey, the remnants of Harvey. But this is going to be pushing off to the north and east as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Nonetheless, we are still going to be dealing with some shower action as we head into the next several hours and even into the overnight hours. We've got a couple of pockets of some heavier downpours moving into places like Tom's River, but things are going to be improving, though, as we head into your Sunday. So future weather is going to confirm that for us. We'll see the showers that continue as we head into the overnight hours tonight. Here we are stopped at midnight, some shower action along the Jersey Shore, and then a couple of showers lingering around even into Sunday morning. But look what happens as we head into the afternoon. We'll actually start to see those clouds breaking up for some sunshine. And with that sunshine coming back into the picture, that should allow temperatures to make it back on up into the at least the upper 70s as we head into the afternoon and then Monday. Well, that just looks spectacular. A live look at our neighborhood network. You're looking at Boardwalk Plaza and Rehoboth. Not a nice beach day. Hardly anyone out there on the beach. Hardly anyone out there on the boardwalk. Just a couple of people. They've been wearing the rain gear today. Tomorrow's looking much better, especially by the afternoon. Morning shower to sunshine. 79 by Monday. Beautiful beach day just in time for Labor Day. Now let's talk about the latest on Hurricane Irma. It's been fluctuating in its intensity right now winds of around 110 miles per hour, according to the latest information from the National Hurricane Center. We do expect that it becomes a major hurricane as we head into the middle of the week and then approaching the Bahamas, possibly a category four storm. Now, as for us here at home, there's still a lot of uncertainty. What I'll tell you right now is be prepared, not scared, worrying about things. Well, that never fixes anything, never sol solves any problems, but we'll continue to keep you up to date as we get more forecast information. Overnight cloudy with showers around 61 for that overnight low temp, and then tomorrow morning shower around, and that'll be followed by some sunshine as we head into the afternoon with a high temperature of 78 degrees. Now by Monday, Labor Day, that is really my pick of the week. Mid 80s, tons of sunshine. That is going to be a fantastic holiday for all of us. And then on Tuesday, we'll start to warm up a little bit. It's also going to feel a little more humid with a high temperature of 89 degrees of front stalls across the region as we head into the middle of the week, and that is going to bring some rain back into the picture. But Labor Day is looking fantastic, you guys. Any chance we could have just moved the weekend to Tuesday know, and Wednesday? Right? Bummer. I wish. <laughs> Seriously. All right, Chelsea, thank you. Let's